Hey guys, so I wanted to show you how you can take a very neutral look and just spice it up with a pop of color. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start off with Max Groundwork Paint Pot and I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid with my finger. And this is going to serve as our base for the eyeshadows I'm going to apply to my eye. Once that is completely blended, I'm going in with the Naked palette. I'm going to be mixing the colors Naked and Buck, and I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. Once I have that down on the lid, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Eyeliner Pencil in the color Mink Brown. I'm going to use that to just outline my crease a little bit. I wanted to have a very simple cut crease, nothing too dramatic, nothing too sharp. So I chose to go in with a brown color um, just to give this eye look a little bit more definition. Once I have that drawn in, I'm going to go in with a very small detail brush. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. And once I have that blended to my liking, I'm going to pull that down to the outer corner of my eye into the V shape. And then to darken that up, I'm going in with the color Espresso from my Lorac Pro Palette. I'm going to apply that right where I applied that eyeliner. I'm going to go back and apply some eyeshadow to my lid. I'm going to use the color light pink from the Lorac palette. I'm just going to apply that right underneath that crease into the base just to brighten up the eye look a little more. And then I'm going to go back in with that uh, brush and just go ahead and try to outline a little bit more. And I'm going to take that pencil brush just to blend it. Obviously, I don't want it to be a harsh line, so I'm going to keep blending to my liking. And then for the outer um, corner and the outer area of the eye, I'm going to go in with a blending brush. I'm going to use a little bit of the color brown script just to soften it up a little bit. It's not very noticeable, but I just use just a little bit. Alright, so I'm also going to do a very thin wing. Um, you guys already know my struggle with doing my liner on camera, but I am really trying to do it for you guys. So I'm just going to do a very small wing just to add that definition to the look. So I've already did my face. You guys have seen my foundation routine before. Uh, so I just went right back to the eyes. I'm adding some mascara to my lashes. I believe I applied the Cara number 600 lashes, um, but I will have a list in the description bar. For that pop of color, I'm going in with the Urban Decay uh, eyeliner pencil in the color Chaos. This is a gorgeous blue color, like absolutely gorgeous, guys. And once I've applied that, I'm going in with my MAC uh, eye pencil, and this is in the color Feline or Smolder, one of the black eyeliners. I'm just going to go ahead and line my waterline. And 
And I'm going to take my favorite mascara, which is the L'Oreal Telescopic uh, Mascara. And I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara to those bottom lashes. All right, so I'm going in with a new blush I just purchased, and I love it. Uh, the color is called Teos, I believe, and it is a gorgeous color. So I'm going to apply a little bit of that to my cheeks, and just watch. Just watch how, how gorgeous it is on camera. I'm going to make sure I just blend that to the apples on my cheeks and blend it up a little bit. I did not use a lot of blush. I basically dipped my brush in there maybe twice and that is the color payoff you get. Alright, so my lips are done. I just added the MAC liner in cork and I added the cream sheen. Lipstick, I think the color was pure zen, but whatever, I will have it listed below. This is the completed look. I hope you guys like this, and if you do, you already know what to do for your girl. Go ahead, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.